It's World Hippo Day, Nash. Oh no. A very important day. That's that that I'd say you're lying, but there's there's a day for every Night. thing, so yeah. It's World Hippo Day. That's a thing. It's a real thing. And in honor of World Hippo Day. Uh. I know, right? <laughs> the dog agrees with me. World Hippo Day. World Didn't Day. wake up Peggy. Peggy, I don't know if you're going to be able to see her up there, but Peggy is up in her condo, napping and snoring. Loki, please go lay down. Please. Loki, please. what's the matter? Nobody loves you. Please go lay down, buddy. It's okay. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. <laughs> Go on, good boy. Yeah, I don't think you get to complain about my hippo when you just played an electric kazoo for like 20 minutes. Well, to be fair, Mike did. Mike paid for that, so. Take it up with him. That That's his. He, he did that to y'all. That's not on me. That's on Mike. Just saying. Um... Well, happy World Hippo Day anyway. So how's, how's it going with the new kitten? Uh, she's doing all right. She's still in the spare bathroom. Um, we were trying a thing to try and get her used to getting to being touched. We're like, we took a soft toy and mm -hmm. put it on like a stick so we could pet her from far away. And for like a couple of days, that was cool. Like she didn't love it, but she would tolerate it. And then day before yesterday, she decided snipe that stick and everything it stands for. <laughs> and now if you get near her with it, she starts hissing and smacking it. So <laughs> I think we might have rushed her a bit. We're dialing it back. We're back to like just spending some time in the room and talking to her and trying to get her used to just us being around. Um, Simba is super curious about her. Simba, whenever we have the door open, just sits at the gate and talks to her. And apparently she talks back. <laughs> so now that we have Domino, is the next cat going to be Deadpool? Listen, there wasn't supposed to be a fourth cat. 200. Like it was supposed to, and, and Dan, like I had to play a little dirty with Dan because Dan was like, no, three cats, three cats, that's it. And then I was like, but doesn't she look just like your cat, Jack, that passed away? There's going to be two. You're going to have, you're going to have 200 cats. Terrible. So, um, I don't think there's going to be, and I have a porch cat. It's 200. not going to, but I'm, I'm effectively dealing with five cats now. You're so, going to have a legion. I mean, I would be fine with that, but we would need a bigger house. <laughs> but Phil Domino's doing okay. She, she doesn't view us as an open threat anymore. Cause like, she's fine with me being in there and scooping her litter and putting her food down. And like, she doesn't mind me being in her personal space, but if you try to touch her, she gets very upset. So we're working on it, but she's a feral. It's going to take time. All right. Well, now in the hor now it's time for horrible things. Yes. All we right. talked about nice kitty things and nice hippo things. Time for everything sucks. All right, let's get the intro going. You okay, Grady? Grady, the little bastard was just standing in the hall making the I'm in terrible pain and injured Hello. noises. And we got, and all he's doing is just stand. We go went and he's like, make panics me for a second. We went and checked on him. He's fine. You little <laughs> asshole. Oh, she's in the bathroom crying. I think she gets lonely in there. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience spot. Worldwide interwebs find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And uh, let's see. What, what do we have? Um, oh, yes, yes. It's, it's Florida. It's it's just it's a March of Florida tonight. Um, this. It's I, February. 
I, I don't even remember. I, 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 I can't even, this happened on Valentine's Day, so happy, happy Valentine's Day for this one. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, so we're, we're starting off with a straight up, straight up what the fuck. I, I, in, in true Florida fashion, um, woman beats another person with curtain rod after trying to run them over. Gainesville. Okay. According to Gainesville police, 18-year-old Emily Graff nearly hit a person with her car around 10.30 on Saturday night. After the person she tried to run over followed her and hit her car to tell her to be more careful. No, Graf, that's not the way to do that. that. That was a bad plan. But Graff backed her car up and tried hitting the person again. This caused, him, this caused her to run into a parked car. She then got out told the victim she had a gun and hit them with a shower rod multiple times. The person who was hit suffered no injuries during the incident. There are no heroes in this one. <laughs> a Who's carrying around a shower rod? Because, like, she sucks for trying to hit somebody, but then if somebody tries to hit you with their car... The correct answer is not to fucking follow them and rear end them. Because then you are also a fucking psycho. I, it's, it's I, I have a gun. Whap, 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 whap. Uh, that's, Maybe that's, she thinks that's what a gun is. <laughs> what, who's carrying around a curtain rod in their fucking car? Dude, I used to drive around with so much weird shit in my car. You don't even know. A curtain rod? I drove around with a box in my trunk from a job I had gotten laid off from six years before. I had a little David Wright figurine. I drove around with a cat trap in my car for like a month. The just, one thing I never have in my car is a snowbrush, and I've always lived where it snows. Just it as a weapon, a shower rod. <laughs> Pretty ineffective. Yeah, they're just getting, they're they're pretty much cheap aluminum. Yeah, you're just you're smacking someone with a beer can essentially. Yeah, it's not gonna do very much. I mean, you might feel like you look like Ray from Star Wars, but <laughs> you don't. Oh my God, you just took me back to the Star Wars kid. <laughs> Holy shit! You might look like him. That was that 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 was that was a lifetime ago. Some people who are watching yeah. this are going, who's the was, Star Wars kid? I don't understand. There was an article complaining that WandaVision just feels like one long story that they're taking too long to tell. And I'm like, yes, that used to be what television was. That's that's television. That's that's how that worked. Back in the fucking Paleolithic era, when we were children, that's what television was. There was no binging. It's about ready to explain, you know, we couldn't pause the, the TV lie yeah. that didn't used to work and if you missed an episode you just fucking missed it yep and you had to hope they re-ran it over the summer yep did we have this conversation last week i don't know someone on youtube will tell us ah uh, next up also florida and this this mother oh my god this motherfucker right here i i have Wow. He's lucky he's not dead. He's straight up lucky he is not in a pine fucking box. Florida man stole engagement ring from girlfriend to give to fiance. Wow. A Florida man stole an engagement ring from his girlfriend to use to propose to another woman. Palusa County Sheriff's Office said Joseph Davis... 48 used fake names including Joe Brown and Marcus Brown when he met both women in 2015 and 2016 with the OK Cupid dating app. Yeah, I've I've <laughs> I spent some time on OK Cupid and this is about the caliber. Da yeah. Davis maintained relationships with a girlfriend in Orange City and a fiance in Orlando. 
Detectives say neither women knew his real name. Investigators said the girlfriend discovered Davis was engaged to the other woman when she looked her up on social media and saw she was wearing a ring and wedding band that were similar to her own. Why is she already wearing the wedding band? Probably an old one. Uh, when she checked her jewelry box, the rings, as well as other items, they are gone. Girlfriend contacted the fiancé and was able to get some of the jewelry back. Because of the infidelity, both women cooperated with each other. You are lucky you are not dead. Let me tell you, I, I in college, a guy I was seeing decided he wanted to go after my roommate. And the first thing she did was tell me, and the first thing we did was go to his room together. At that point, that, it's team us and team you. That's, you know what? That's really hard. I'm trying to think. Have I ever been that terrible? No, that, that has not been a situation in my life. So I've never, I've never had to experience that. I, I could all just the pants shitting terror he must have been in, though. Like, damn, you're, there are a couple things they could have done here. One of them includes dead. They could have very easily made you disappear. And it probably would have worked because you were using a fake ID with both of them. So anyone, have you seen uh, Joe Brown? Mm, who is Joe, Joe Brown? And what? No. I don't understand how, like, one was apparently already his fiance. Hmm. But he hadn't gotten her a ring yet. No. And I guess that happens. Like, you get engaged, but you can't afford a ring yet, whatever. Yeah. So, presumably the other girlfriend was married before or something. Because yeah. she had a wedding ring set. So he just fucking took it. I mean, she wasn't using it, right? <laughs> and, then, and then you <laughs> let both women put pictures of you on social media. You fucking idiot. Like, th this is the thing. Google image search will fuck your day. Yeah. That's the thing now. It's very easy to do. If you're in Chrome, you just right click on a picture and it says Google image search. Yeah. And they will find you. Stupid. Dumbass. Yeah, you're lucky to be alive. Oh my. You're lucky not to be gator food. They can, it is very easy to make someone disappear in Florida. It's mostly yeah. swamp. Uh, Gators are not herbivores, like the noble and majestic hippo. Next up, Oklahoma City and... <laughs> oh, bless your heart, sweetie. Bless, bless your heart. Teen called 911 after her fake ID was seized. Oh, honey. Oh. <laughs> after her fake ID was seized at a bar, an 18-year-old Oklahoman called police for help getting the illegal item returned. Investigators say that Blakely Sands uh, sought admittance Tuesday evening to the Wolf Trap Bar in Edmond, but she was turned away by a bouncer who confiscated her phony Texas ID, which carried the name... McCammy Quinn. McCammy Quinn. I I I don't get it. That that sounds what? When her demands for the IDs return probably some little girl's real name. When her demands for the IDs return were rejected by bar personnel, Sands made the mistake of dialing police. Yeah, okay. This is if they at this point you were you were pretty much you broke even. OK, you couldn't get into the bar, but you weren't going to jail. They but took they your, didn't call the police. Right. They didn't call the cops. All they did was confiscate your I.D. They were being kind yeah. to your ass. Just sending you on your dumbass way. And you wanted to speak to the manager. Which is not what 911 is. We've covered this. Yeah. Um, cops responded to the 911 call were met by Sands, who recounted the seizure of ID and the bar's refusal, refusal to return it. TJ, teenager insisted the ID was authentic. Okay, look, if a bouncer 
was able to figure out it was fake. Yeah. The cops are going to in a second. When officers ran a computer check on the license number on the ID, it came back to a male Texas motorist. How much you also want to bet when the cops showed up, she gave them her real name? No, no. She said she said she was McCammy Quinn. She, oh, she told okay. them that. Because, like, someone asks your name. It's a reflex most of the time. Well, she was arrested on a felony charge of presenting a fake ID with the intention of mis misleading a peace officer. You fucking idiot. You could have just gone home. You, I mean, you would make you, you would hit the best possible worst outcome, which was yeah. they've got your fake ID. Go hit up somebody, get a new one. Yeah. You can't visit that bar for a few years. Just All right. Well, you're behind. The night's a wash. Just it, take it and go. No, no. You had to be like, the cops will help me. How dare you? No. That's not how they... It's like we've had people that call the cops because their fucking meth got stolen. How did you think that was going to play out? Apparently she didn't. But, you know, speaking of uh, more didn't think it through, I, I don't... This is Florida. Again, a lot of fucking Florida tonight. The only place people are still leaving their houses. <laughs> It's that old adage, the man who has himself for a lawyer has a fool for a client. Oh, fucking yes. My case is a political case. Man accused of smashing windows at post office hospital representing self in property damage case. Jacksonville, the man accused of stealing an excavator and driving through the glass entryway of Baptist Medical Center, as well as smashing windows at a Fort Carolyn Road post office, says he will represent himself, calling his a political case. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office arrested 40-year-old Christian Smith last month on criminal mischief charges. Police say they identified him from a tip uh, through a tip from a citizen. In a virtual court appearance Thursday, Smith repeatedly rejected Judge uh, Jeb Branham's urging to consider having a public defender represent him. He pled not guilty to all three counts against him, including two counts of property damage and one count of taking construction material from a posted construction site. Okay, and here there are pictures. We got pictures here. There's there's the, 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 here's here's some of the mayhem. There we go. Let's let's get it up there. Uh, that's that. That's that's the uh, the front door of the medical center, which was the maternity ward. Oh God! He drove through the front door of the maternity. In this, I I I the the maternity ward, dude. What? What's his? Why is this case political? He doesn't. It. it, it he doesn't say which is why i'm sitting oh, here scratching he for internet access because he's represent, representing himself yeah so he's he says he because he's he's being held in jail he needs to have internet access which no that's not you is you're offered a public defender you that's know the, what you're right to you know that guy last week Everybody's talking about it. The, the 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 dude was was Zoom meeting. The lawyer was in a Zoom meeting, and all of a sudden he was a cat. Shootings that have happened in the city of Jacksonville just in stop the last. That, stop that! Now at eleven, now at 11, 11 we're tracking, we're tracking at least three, three shootings, shootings that have happened. Stop it, Sarah! Terror, terror. It's it's great. Last twelve hours. They happened. They happened. Steps and Road, 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 Maybe that was the problem. Maybe all the public defenders were cats. Yes, that could be. Yeah. And you didn't trust them. Like, I love my cats. I don't know that I would trust them to defend me in court. So that that's that. I don't understand. He doesn't. There's nowhere in the article where he explains what makes this political. Right. Stealing an excavator and driving through shit. That still none of that would even under any stretch of the imagination that would still be criminal yeah because you, you, you stole someone else's that, that, 
uh, even if you did it for the whales. Yeah, that's I don't know how that helps the whales. Uh, fucking idiot. Um, also, fucking idiots, and uh, from the Department of ACAP, um, the entire, the entire police department, all of them, holy shit, and of course it's LAPD, of course, um, you are all the worst. LAPD officer charged with stealing pickup from Orange Car Lot, driving it to work for nearly a year. Los Angeles police officer has been charged with stealing a truck from a dealership in Orange and driving the stolen pickup more than a year after changing its status to recovered. Matthew Caleros, 45-year-old Whittier resident. He's smiling in the mugshot. Yep, he's smiling in his fucking mugshot. Pled not guilty Monday to three felonies and three misdemeanors he's failing. They include unlawfully taking of a vehicle, forging a license plate, false personization, and unauthor unauthorized disclosure of information from state DMV records. Um, Caleros allegedly went to B&J Car Company uh, and drove a 2015 Chevy, Shil Chevy Silverado off the lot after asking a sa salesman to pull a Carfax report. Uh, the sales manager at the used car lot said that he remembered Caleros coming in and walking straight to the Silverado. Um, surveillance video from the dealership shows Gonzalez running after the truck as it was driving away. After stealing the truck, Caleros used another LAPD officer's ID to call his department's oh, vehicle warrant unit to report the pickup had been recovered. Which means he stole it. Right. They called to report it stolen. And he said, no, it's not. The so end. What happened when the dealership was like, uh, it was not in fact recovered because we don't have it. Or did they claim it was like impounded as evidence forever? I don't know. But regardless, and that's the thing. That's 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 the wacky thing. You really this motherfucker could not have just done this. Yeah. And nobody else in the office noticed. Yeah. Because he it said he forged plates too. Yeah. Like that's that's just uh the just, fucking brass ones. Like you just steal a truck off the lot and you think that's cool. And a fucker just grinning in his mugshot, just just smiling. Probably because he knows he's gonna fucking get away with it. <sighs> well, you know. If he'd shot the truck, he probably would have gotten away with it. Well, that depends. What color was the truck? <laughs> America is terrible. Anyway, our last one isn't America, but it is impressive. This is an America level impressive of, of adorable shit. Um, this comes from, where is this exactly? Uh, Stafford. Okay. Holy shit. Um, going from the uh, police to the military. Soldier arrested on suspicion of torching seven cars worth 100,000 pounds or something like $120,000 in booze-fueled rampage. Wow. The private, of course he was a private. And look at, the, look at this shit. Look at this. Did not fuck around there. Um from the 22 Signals Regiment is accused of downing shots at a barracks party before using a petrol-soaked rag, that's gasoline for you Americans, to ignite the motors. That's cars for you Americans. Source said, all the guys that have had their car set alight are fuming. It was a massive party on Saturday night. It was like pandemic wasn't even a thing. They were all pissed up and just having it out. Uh, they were drinking in the block in their rooms and just general banter. Then he made a comment and said, I'm going to burn some cars this weekend. Nobody took him seriously, but then he did. Dottie, do you, do you have to poop right this second, baby? Yes. Hi. Do you, do you have to play with the poop spaceship right now? Yes. I don't know if you can see her. She's just examining it. Hi. You want to come be on the internet? No. No. 
All right. Yeah, there's there's the uh there are all the look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's like Milton kept saying he would set the building on fire and nobody believed him. <laughs> except until he set the fucking building on fire. Except, you know, Milton didn't have to go into combat with anybody later. Yeah. They might have to deploy these fellas one day, somewhere, and everybody in the foxhole is gonna be looking over at this dude that set all the cars on fire. I mean, I, I'd like to think you wouldn't just let someone die because of your car. Yeah, but on the other hand, I mean, you're really well, you really know, he might not get the best MREs either. <laughs> he might not get the ones that taste like food. How did I've here's another one of I've never been this drunk before, but I've never been this drunk yeah. before. I'm just going to set everything on fire. Dan has been this drunk. <laughs> and it was while he was in the army. Because apparently, Dan joined the army at 17. His parents signed their consent. Mm. And apparently the rule in the army is, if you're signed up to be shot at, we're not going to make you wait till 21 to drink. So fuck it. Which is not an actual right. rule, but it's a rule. Right. So, um... Dan has some stories. He has been about this drunk and, you know, his specialty was nuclear biochemical. So, but did he burn his platoon's cars? He, he did not that I'm aware of. That's not a he, good. He hasn't told me yet. That's not a good bonding experience. No, no, that's not a good team building exercise. Especially when you consider seven cars only equaled $120,000 US. Dudes are not going to be able to get new cars easily. Yeah. I mean, cars in general in Europe are a lot smaller than here. They don't feel the need to express their inadequacies to the world hmm. in the shape of a car. But uh, that doesn't mean, I mean, some of them can be very expensive, I imagine. But yeah, seven cars. Yeah, that that I'm not. These are not exactly the high end cars. These fuckers were on a budget. Right. I, like, mean, I don't Chris, know if it's the same in England, but here soldiers do not make a lot of money. They do not. I mean, it's a job. You could pretty much just walk in, and if you got a pulse and you're not about to kill over, you're pretty much going to get something. Yeah, but you're not going to get paid a lot of money for it. No. Oh my! I just. Hey guys, I'm going to go set some cars on fire. Okay, Rob, and then okay, you nut. Does anyone else smell smoke? What? He fucked those cars up. He did. That's that is like some Mad Max shit there. Man, you are getting all the shit jobs for yes. But the rest of your your military career is you are never not on KP. You are never yeah. not on KP. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the first thing we learned this week is uh, if the dude says he's going to set the cars on fire, he's going to set the cars on fire. You better watch him. At least you know, keep an eye on him. Yeah. Well, when someone says something like that, it's 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 it's. You should probably watch them. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. Um, we've learned if you're a police officer, you can steal a truck and say it's not stolen and just keep the damn thing and get away with it for over a year. It didn't even say how they caught him. How they catch his ass? Oh, surveillance video from yeah. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure the the uh, the, the it doesn't say here, but I I can only be led to believe that the uh, lot the the dealership, the dealership just wouldn't you know yeah him have it for free yeah. Um, we've we've learned that uh. Stealing an excavator and smashing the doors to a maternity ward. Not a political statement. Um, I worry for what kind of political statement that could be. That's not even performance art. That's that's a felony. Yeah. Also, we learned if, if you go to a bar and your fake ID doesn't work and the worst they do is take it away, take the L and go. Cut your losses, man. Don't don't be like, 
Excuse me. They took my card. God, do you know how much that cost me? <laughs> Bitch, no. Um, we've learned that uh, you better you do not date two women at the same time if they don't know about it, because when they find out, you're in the shit. Yeah, and definitely don't steal one's engagement ring to give to the other. What the? Now you know if you're in a situation where everybody knows and everybody's cool, okay. But don't don't put somebody don't know what other what shit's going on because then that is just wrath waiting to happen. Yeah, terrible things will rain down on your ass. And and finally, we've learned that a curtain rod is not a gun. I I don't know why we needed this lesson, but Florida decided. Because Florida. Because Florida. You know what? Maybe she did have a gun, but then she drove through like the WandaVision energy field and it turned into a curtain rod. It's Florida. Who fucking knows? Disney's down there. Maybe Disney's just fucking with reality and that's why Florida is the way it is. That's my that's my official conspiracy theory of the week. 